YouTube, Sharmall51 here. Here in a little bit, we're going to pick up something I've been uh, been looking for for a while. Uh, talked to the gentleman about getting it, but anyway, we're 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 going to pick it up today. And uh, a good friend of mine that had it, and uh, but anyway, you'll uh, you'll see here in a minute. I may or may not do any filming while we're getting it on the counter, just for privacy reasons and all that for for them. I don't want to some places. Uh, respect uh, their privacy and things like that. They don't want, you know, somebody filming around there and people get weird when you start bringing a camera out anyway. So, but anyway, um, you'll see here in a second. So, uh, all right, stay tuned. Got it in in the shop here and i know it's going to leak oil all over my floor it already is but this here is a c-153 four cylinder international engine which will be going in the farmall super c this engine here is it's, it's a good engine it doesn't burn any oil and the oil pressure is really low on it Rather than re rebuild, you know, well, I could rebuild it and put a, you know, put it back in there, but um, I had an opportunity to pick this up uh, from a good friend of mine. A Farmall Super C from the factory come with a C123 uh, cubic inch engine. Right around 21, 22-ish, right in there, horsepower 21, I think. Something like that. Um, horsepower. Uh, most of your 130s. 140s all had about the same engine. The head is a little bit different on that. The radiator neck on a Super C bends down and the water pump is on the bottom here, down here. And your 140s, your typical, your 140 water pumps are up top mounted to sort of the, the head up there or the front of the block, I mean, on the engine. So a little better placement there. It takes two belts to run this setup and the 140 uses one one belt this here this block here a particular block here is like the 140 it just it uses it'll use one belt when we get um when the water pump gets back and we put a new water pump on it just one single belt and it is a c153 on 153 cubic inch engine this engine here by the looks at it and the dipstick on the other side it is a 153 out of a like a 504 
the engines that come in the farm tractors in the end of the crank they did um, they had a hole drilled for the input shaft on the uh, on the tractor that tractor there we had to take the crank out and drill a hole have a hole drilled toward the input shaft going in the back of the crank and pray we didn't hit the oil journal this will be a regular c-153 that's a, a little bit of a hopped up c-153 but uh if you can have more horsepower in a in a super c not saying we'll really need it need it but um it's nothing but nothing wrong with having a little extra you know horsepower so take the head off oil pan um check everything do run a compression test on it i believe if i understood the gentleman this was rebuilt a couple years ago one of these i'll probably get it running outside the tractor and see how good it's going to be um, compression test uh, compression test to show that um, if it needs rings you know we can do that anyway um oil pans typical oil pan and pop that back out but got a flywheel and all that pressure plate and all that so that's uh that's a big plus we'll put this on the engine stand overhaul it just get everything up and work in order and then like i said that's the next on the chopping block as far as um rebuilds as soon as we can get that restored uh, that we'll have an engine to put in it they should have up these engines to at least a c-135 or something by the time they got to the 200s and 230s to me they should have added a little bit but i guess they felt they didn't need the horsepower um the transmissions will like i say transmission's been fine in that tractor and that tractor is pushing a lot more than what it should be and that's a c transmission i've seen no problems with it but um well, like we're saying we're, this this will be just in the, the super season that's that and we'll we'll have it uh i'll do some updates from time to time on this but uh it's, it's a good running engine from what i was told and i trust the guy that had it and he's i bought some other stuff from him before I'm looking forward to diving into this well, like i said when we get that tractor there restored re-restored again um got some bearings and transmission that need to be fixed and we're going to put the fast hitch back on it and then we're going to put that engine right there in it so we'll have a a super duper c thanks for watching and uh we'll catch you later